Hi guys, is Abu Dhabi your next work destination? If yes, then you should come with us today to meet Hans. He's a fresh graduate from La Roche, currently working at the Rich Carlton Abu Dhabi, and he's gonna show us around. Let's meet him. Hans, so what are you doing here in Abu Dhabi? So right now I'm working at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Okay, I'm doing the Voyager program, which is a management and training program. I've been here for 15 months, and I have to say I'm really loving it. Really? Yes. How do you like Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi is great. It's uh, definitely more quieter than Dubai. I think some people can't really differentiate between the two when they're not from here. But once you're here, you can really see that Dubai, you go there for fun. Abu Dhabi, you come here to make money. How do you say move around here in Abu Dhabi? So it's very common and very easy to move around in taxis. It's only, I would say, around 20 minutes distance from my hotel to anywhere. The taxis are very cheap and very comfortable as well. If you don't use taxi, then of course you can always use your friend's car. There's Uber, uh, or if you have a license, then you can go on your own. Here in Abu Dhabi, I live in an area called Musafa. Okay, it's a bit further away from most things, but it's about a 20 to 25 minute drive away from the hotel. It's very comfortable, I would say, uh, simply because there's transportation provided from the hotel that takes you back and forth from the accommodation to the hotel and backwards. The accommodation is set up uh, like an apartment. Okay, so we have the entire building. It's only two Ritz Carlton staff. I have a single room, and so I share the apartment with two other guys. If you're line staff, then you share the apartment uh, where you have a roommate in each room. Everything provided from the hotel, the accommodation, transportation, Really, you don't have to pay for anything. So when you arrive, uh, how was it with the paperwork and the visa process? Was, was it easy? Very easy. I think that's something which is very, very amazing about living in a place like this because everything the hotel takes care of. Uh, it does depend on person to person. Sometimes it takes longer. For example, me, it took three months to get ready. So when I graduated, I waited for three months. Uh, some other of my colleagues only took two, three, maybe four weeks, you know, so it really depends. And what do you usually do here on your days off? Days off, it's very simple. Okay, we can enjoy a lovely sunny day at the beach, which is very nice. Okay, we're at the Cornish Beach right now. It's a public beach, absolutely free, and it's very nice. But personally, I like to go to the Yas Beach. Well, there is a 50 dirham uh, entrance fee. On weekends, it's 100, but I have to say it's very comfortable. I've tried a couple times some jet skiing, some nice water sports, which is very fun. It's around 200, 300 dirhams uh, for a couple hours, but totally worth it. And what I love about it is that there's no limit of space. So really, you rent the, the, the jet ski and you can go wherever you can. As long as you're back on a designated time, then wow. everything's okay. <laughs> really, it's amazing. I definitely recommend here, actually in the Yas Marina, it's where we are right now. Not only is it a very, very uh, touristical area, but also a lot of expats and young people come here as well. Okay, so we have the beautiful docks where you come with their boats and the yachts and it's very nice. Here we have lots of restaurants like Stars and Bars, we have the Aquarium which is very popular as well. Then uh, of course we have the Cipriani restaurant right there which is an Italian restaurant. It's a very luxurious, uh, so if you really want to treat yourself I'd recommend there. On top of that, we have the Yas Viceroy right behind us, beautiful hotel, and there's the famous Formula One racetracks there as well. Me, since I prefer the Italian restaurants, there's a really nice restaurant called Spacca Napoli in Crown Plaza Hotel. Beautiful restaurant, the pizzas there are excellent. They're famous for their one meter long pizza. Then I would really recommend this uh, restaurant called Mijana, it's at the Ritz Carlton Hotel, if you want to try a nice uh, local Lebanese food. Hans, where do you go out here for drinks? You have quite a variety of choices to go to. Uh, to start off the night, I would really suggest you go to a local pub or an English sports bar, which is very nice. I really suggest McGettigan's, it's probably one of my favorites. Then uh, you have these nice bars, kind of like where we're in now. So we're in a place called Ray's Bar. It's famous not only because of the view, also because we are in Etihad Tower. We're inside one of the three towers from the scene of uh, Fast and Furious 7 where the car jumps from tower to tower. We're inside one of those towers right now. This is really to start off the night. Then uh, to end up somewhere, I would suggest one of these three clubs, which are very nice. There's uh, the Yas Viceroy Rush Club. Then in uh, Emirates Palace, there's the Etoile. And then of course, the St. Regis Hotel has the Crystal by People Club. Very nice clubs. These places, it is quite expensive, mostly because of the alcohol. For these places to serve alcohol, they need to have a liquor license. This liquor license has a high cost to it. So Hans, all in all, we're at 
the pros and cons of living in Abu Dhabi? Definitely, I would say a couple of the cons are the heat, you know, but uh, you have to see the positive side of this as well, is that there's, there's always sunshine, you know. <laughs> Throughout the year, there's a lot of sunshine and you can definitely work on your tan. Uh, I would guess another con, if you're a gentleman, is that wherever you go, no matter what, you have to pay something, you know. It's, it's very pricey if you're a gentleman. However, this can also be a positive side because for ladies, you know, it's, there's ladies' nights here in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai as well. But here, every single night, there is a ladies' night happening somewhere, which means that you get to have free drinks. Some other cons, I would say, living in Abu Dhabi is probably the distance to get from one place to another. You always need either a taxi or a car, so that could be quite challenging sometimes. Some other pros living here in Abu Dhabi is the work opportunity. I think definitely if you have Abu Dhabi on your CV, that looks amazing. You work in some of the best hotels worldwide. There's always challenges that you face at work every single day so it prepares you. Like I'll tell you the, the challenges I'm facing here at work, when I go back to Europe, I will be 100% ready and I won't be scared to face any challenge that comes my way. I think Abu Dhabi is good to, to start, to really start your career. I've been here already a year and a half almost and uh, you know I'll probably stay here another another year, maybe two years, and then after that, uh, go somewhere else. It's very important in the hospitality industry to keep moving and to never stay still. If you stay still, then you don't really grow. Well, Hans, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much for My today. Pleasure. My pleasure, Lucia. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. As we say here, shukran and masalama. Thank you. And guys, if you want to find out more about Abu Dhabi, don't hesitate to contact Hans on Hotsko. And see you next time for another great interview on Hotsko TV. <laughs> Bye. Bye.